Welcome back. Now this time I knew you were coming because we're picking up immediately where I left off in my last one. Now we looked at some previous screenplays as I was going through my archives. Today we looked through some previous newspapers. What do we have here? Ah yes. One of the only copies of a handwritten daily weekly newspaper that I have. This wasn't the first, but it was one of the earliest, and it wasn't the last, but it was one of my favourites. One glaring issue with it is that I spelt a word wrong, and it forever bugs me. I should really put this in a frame and display it. After all, this is what started it all. Some of you who went to school with me, specifically Jake, amongst others, may you remember this magazine that we made as part of a lesson. I am now the proud owner of the copy, which was used on display for several years and turned up later in our final years, and I thought, I'll have that for myself. Now this magazine is all about games and gadgets, with the tagline, the best game and gadget coverage, how original as you can see with various illustrations from many of us though I think Jake made the logo, I'm not too sure in this I personally covered the phone section because at the time I was very into mobile phones and my page was called Phone Phase February 2013 and the top best selling phone was the Samsung Galaxy S3 the top Android smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy S3. The top iPhone, the iPhone 5. At the time, I had a Samsung Galaxy Ace. Which I went on to say was one of the best. And I wrote a review. Here is the review. Reviews of the Galaxy. As the editor of this page. So I am going to review my... F this wasn't... I'm reading my own work from eight years ago and it doesn't make sense. I don't know how this was picked to be the best. As the editor of this page, so I am going to review on my phone a Samsung Galaxy Ace. Now this Android smartphone is an amazing piece of kit. It has everything you want on an Android smartphone and it was one and it was the once an overall best selling. That sounds like those text-to-speech videos on YouTube when you click on them thinking, oh, it's going to be a person, and it's not. We don't like those videos. I don't. I can't speak for other people. The top ten apps. Number one, YouTube. Number two, WhatsApp. Number three, Facebook. Number four, Minecraft. Number five, Angry Birds. Number six, Plants vs. Zombies. Number seven, Twitter. Number eight, Four picks, one word. Number nine, earn to die. Number ten, BBC iPlayer. That was interesting. Now let's go back a little further to see some of the earlier newspapers that I wrote. That's just some photocopies. Here we go. The Bradley Star, issue one. Shocking dinners. This is dated the 7th of May 2011. I was 10 years old at the time. Shocking dinners. Now I wrote this based on the poor, abysmal quality of school dinners that were at my junior school. And I even collected interview and interviewed people. Let's read it. From the past few weeks, the school dinners at... I'm not going to say the school had been appalling, because the food company had run out of food. There had been reports of maggots in the children's food, also meals had been out of date. It is disgraceful how... How can children cope with this? Plus, the school lunchtime is not long enough for the children to finish their meals. Lunch starts at 12.15pm, and by the time they go up to collect their meals, which can take up to 15 minutes, because they go up in groups of 10 at a time. Lunchtime finishes at 12.50pm. This is approximately 20 minutes to eat your lunch. Some children who have packed lunches have been forced to eat their meals in the classroom. 
Due to the number of children who attend the school, something needs to be done. From your newsman, Bradley Simmons. Yes, something needs to be done. And the success of this newspaper breaking the story of the quality of the meals, I was given the role of an unofficial slash semi-official news newsman for my school. And I ran a newspaper called The Bradley Star. Let's take a look at issue two. Now, there are no surviving hard copies of this, in fact, any, any of this stuff, so if there's a fire, I'm screwed. Now, I have two copies of the second issue, dated 7th of July 2011. Roughly a two month gap between issues there, not good. And I also have a issue 2A, my special issue, dated 22nd of July 2011, which is just before I moved schools. Let's take a read of issue 2. As you can see, my amazing graphic design skills were even amazing back then. Contents. The water walk, behind the scenes, interviews, and interviews continued. Now this was about a charity event that was held at the school where we raised money for charity. It resulted in me and several others going to Downing Street to hand a big bottle of letters demanding for better water access in African countries. And I knocked the door to Downing Street myself. I even appeared on the radio. Friday the 1st of July, all year 5 did 18 laps of blank school at blank location. 18 laps around our school and our field is equivalent to 3.7 miles. Each class had a bucket with 4 litres of water in it and the children took it in turns to carry the bucket. In the end it was very tiring but we all pushed through it. This was written by one of my employees because even 10 years ago I was running my own business with employees who worked for me. Here are some interviews with other students at the school. Uh, again, I'm not going to disclose their names, but I will know who they are. How did you feel about the water walk? And they said, it was really good, but it was hard work. I said, if you had to do this every day, how would it affect your life? It would be very difficult, they said. I said, what's your opinion about the children who have to do this every day? They said, I think it's really upsetting. I agree. And this was a surprise um, last page because, as I mentioned, I was leaving the school in a short weeks after this was published. And my team wrote this kind, well I'm not going to call it an obituary because I'm not dead, but it was a nice little message for me which I didn't know about until this was published. It reads, our lovely manager Bradley Simmons is unfortunately leaving this school in a couple of weeks. Many will miss him. He was a kind, loving boy who was always there for anybody who needed comforting. I'd actually forgotten they'd written that, and it does sound like I had died. Safe to say, I'm not dead. At least not the time of recording this video. Let's look at my special issue, issue 2A, which is essentially a continuation. Now, I can't remember what was in here, but let's have a look. This could have easily been included in the main issue, because it is simply... I, I guess that's why I called it issue 2A, because it's simply a continuation. So there's a recap of what we did, and then I did an interview. I think I interviewed myself, which is always a good way to start. It really fills up the pages. And that was it. It was basically just my interview. But of course, as editor-in-chief, manager, founder, and longest serving employee, it was only fair that I had an all, a whole issue dedicated to myself. So there you have it. There's a look at some of the previous newspapers I've written for, all of which I created myself. I've always been one of the entrepreneurial types, as you can imagine. <laughs> So there you have it, thank you for watching, and that concludes this two-part special into some of the works I've written myself. 
I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Until the next time, thank you for watching.